it is like whew, a drastic change. I don't even know who I am. You can't even call me Alyssa when I'm wearing this. You gotta call me Liz. Like I'm a, I'm a spicy Liz, all right? Inches. Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited for this video. I love me nothing more than a nice, long, beautiful, ponytail and of course y'all know my hair is a little bit too short to do it on its own but i do have this amazing natural hair looking curly goddess of a clip-in ponytail that gives me life every single time i wear it so i wanted to give y'all all the deeds today about where i got the ponytail from how i prepare the ponytail for the sleigh and then how i get it all in my hair install it and then just do the damn thing. It's honestly one of my favorite, favorite looks ever. And it, I would say like it's my go-to look. Whenever I have like a signature event, I'm like, oh, ponytail, where are you? It's so easy as well, so if you're just a beginner, this is like super duper easy. But before we get started, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I know you're not just sitting here watching all my videos, but not subscribed, I mean. Just go ahead and subscribe, we have lots of fun, and I promise you won't regret it. So now that that's out the way, let's get started. Alright, so first things first, let's go over the deeds for this ponytail. Da -da -da! So the ponytail that I have is actually made out of natural hair. So it's from this brand called Curly Clips, which I really love the name, so stinking cute. So the hair initially comes in this cute little bag, which I've just kept. It is such a cute little thing to just keep your hair in to make sure it's staying safe. Boom! Here we are. Look at how long this is. Like, yes. <sighs> so on their website for reference, this is called their ponytail fro. It has these little clip things at the back here so that you clip that onto the top of your ponytail and then you tie it on and secure it with these strings here. So I'm looking at their site now because I want to make sure that I tell you guys the right thing. I see now that they have a weight, like you get to choose the weight. There's either 70G, which is recommended for fine hair, or 135G, which is recommended for thicker hair. Thicker hair is me, um, but I feel like when I purchased this like a year ago or so, there wasn't an option for a weight. So I'm going to go ahead and assume, like I think that this is the 70G because it just doesn't seem like 135. So the 70G, which I believe is this, is 119, and then the 135G is 179. A little bit on the slightly more pricey side, but oh my gosh, so 100% worth it. The quality is bomb, and again, this is like actual real human hair that they used here. So it is just so good. So it looks slightly misshapen because I've kind of just had it sitting in this little bag ever since my last event. So we're going to go over exactly how I like to fix it up, refresh the curls, make them pop in, kind of fluff it out so it's nice and a little bit more full. Like that's always the first thing you want to do is prep your ponytail to make sure that she's in line. So first I'm just going to take these strings here and tie them up like in a bow so that way I can have like a little handle to hold the hair, it'll just make it a little bit easier. Boom, there we go. So first, I'm gonna start by grabbing my DIY spray. Y'all see me use this all the time. It's literally just a mixture of water and conditioner. Right now, I think the conditioner I have in here is the Cara Care Curl Essence Conditioner. It's the regular rinse out conditioner. It just mix a little bit with some water, shake it up, and that's it. Any conditioner usually works, the more lightweight is usually the better. So I'm just gonna start by spraying the ponytail. We're gonna get these curls nice and damp to start the refreshing process. So how damp you wanna make the ponytail is dependent on how much you wanna manipulate the curls. Like two times ago when I wore this, I actually did a full wash and style and everything. So the curls are still looking okay. So I'm not gonna go crazy with the dampness. So already you see the kinks that were in it before from being folded up in the bag has kind of gone away fully. She looks pretty good. Honestly, we could really leave it here, but it's me and I'm a little extra. So I'm not gonna stop here. So I just kind of wanted to have one teensy bit more curl definition. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a mousse. You don't really want to use super heavy products, so that's why I'm leaning towards a mousse rather than a gel. So the mousse that I'm using today is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. 
I went out the other day and bought like 100 mousses because I'm just kind of testing them out, trying them out. I'm just starting to get into mousses in general. Um, so no particular reason why I'm using this. Still in my testing phase, but don't worry. I will be coming out with a favorites video sometime in the future. So that's why you got to make sure you're subscribed so you know when the good good comes out. Hmm. So I'm just applying a very small amount of the mousse. I'm gonna focus mostly on the ends because just like regular hair on our heads, I find that the ends of this ponytail is what gets the driest and the frizziest first. Here's a little close up of how we're looking. I'm pretty happy with how the curls look. Now I love my ponytails to have lots and lots and lots of volume. Like of course we need the curl definition so it doesn't look crazy but the volume, like the bigger we can make this is gonna be the more bomb that it looks. So I'm going to grab a blow dryer and I'm specifically not going to diffuse. I'm just going to do the actual blow dryer and just kind of blow it out in a messy way to kind of encourage the curls to dry and grow. So I'm just going to use my blow dryer on the lowest heat setting as well as the lowest like blowing setting. You're going to want to treat your ponytail as gentle as possible and that's when you'll find that your ponytail will last. So I'm just using side to side motions as I'm blowing it dry because I want to again like encourage the curls to get bigger and to grow so that we can get a little bit of additional volume. Alright so I feel like we have a little bit more thickness going on so I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side and let this continue drying because now we got to tend to our hair. Alright so I'm going to be going for a really low nice slick ponytail so whenever I'm going for like a super slick and sleek look like not just like a brush back cool it's fine like a slick and sleek look I gotta go through and clear out my entire head of hair that is the only way that I can get this hair to be like slicked back to the way that I want it to be. So first I'm just going to start by separating my hair into different sections and I'm going to start by refreshing my curls with my DIY refresher. Alright and then next I am going to go in with some leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to use the leave-in conditioner by TGIN and this is their Miracle Repair Protective Leave-In Conditioner. You want your hair to be like a fairly good level of damp because you don't want to try and clear out your hair while it's still dry because then that's just going to be a hot mess express. So make sure that you've got a good level of dampness before you actually go in and start trying to detangle. Alright, so right now I do not have the patience to be doing any finger detangling. So I'm just going to grab my Denman brush and detangle from the end upwards. Okay, that was a little bit of work, but we are now officially detangled. If you are looking to do this style, make sure you give yourself a little bit of time to make sure you are fully detangled because that is very important into making sure this look comes out flawless. Okay, so the type of ponytail that I'm going for, I want it to kind of be like swoop to the side, kind of like a side part effect without the actual side part. So I'm just going to start by brushing everything back into the direction that I want it to go and you can already see like as the brush is going through boom sleek like that is why it's so important to make sure you are fully detangled before we do this All right, and then now before I actually secure the ponytail, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my smoothing brush here just so I can make sure that all of this here in the front is like super smooth. Sleek, yes, this is what I'm talking about. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and secure the ponytail. <sighs> Honestly, my arms are tired now. <laughs> All right, so now I want to take some very special measures to make sure that we don't have any flyaways. Like, I cannot stand flyaways. So what I like to do is grab two different stylers. So first, I'm going to grab a mousse, and then on top of that, I'm going to slap on some curling jelly. So the mousse is going to be the same Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz-Free Curl Mousse. And then for the curling jelly, I'm going to use the Care Care Moisturizing Curling Jelly. So I like to use the mousse first because it kind of just... It has a little bit of wetness to it, which I like, so it encourages the hair to kind of lay down. But then because the mousse is still kind of so lightweight, I like to then go on top with the jelly and boom! It's like, you stay there. 
Then I'm just gonna brush all the product in. We are laying these hairs down. There will be no flyaways today. Not today, no ma'am. All right, so next I wanna deal with this right here. We wanna get rid of this. We don't want any of this to be showing or like poking out underneath the clip-in ponytail. So I'm just gonna take the ponytail and just braid it. All right, and then I'm gonna take the braided hair and kind of just tuck it under just like this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and secure our little mini braid bun with a hair tie. All right, so let's grab our ponytail now and we're gonna go ahead and apply this. I mean, look, just for a little sneak peek. I mean, who am I? All right, so I'm just gonna untie that little bow that we had in there. And so basically, you're gonna take this top piece and attach it to the very top of your own ponytail. So, just like so. Then you're gonna take these two strings and tie it around to the bottom of the ponytail. So I just kind of like to crisscross the strings at the bottom and pull them tight and just keep crisscrossing until the strings are a little bit shorter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tie this at the top here. And then crisscross again and then tie it again. And then now all we have to do is take a bobby pin, push this under, and pin it under so the strings are gone. All right, so next you just kinda wanna fluff out your ponytail and kinda pull it over to the sides to make sure that your bun is staying hidden underneath. One thing I also like to do is to take a little piece of hair and wrap it around the base of the ponytail. I just kind of like how that looks and I feel like it also makes it seem a little bit more natural, helps it to blend a little bit better as well. So I'm basically just continuing to fluff my hair as necessary. You can also decide to add any additional bobby pins or pin any other hairs as much as you'd like in order to make it look the way you want it to. The most important thing is to make sure that your bun is like inside the ponytail, that it's all fluffed all around the bun so that it doesn't show. I mean, oh, I can't, I love this. Oh, I love this so much. This always gives me so much life. All right, so I got one last thing that I wanna do. Whenever I wear this style, I feel like it always needs some dramatic edges. Like everything else is slicked back and your edges are on front stage, so we gotta do something about it. So first, I always like to spray down my edges, get them a little bit damp, and then I'm gonna go back in with that Curl Essence Curling Jelly, and then I'm just taking my rat tail comb and designing the edges the way I want them. So I'm basically just taking the comb, making a part, and combing down the bottom edges and kind of creating a little dramatic design. All right, edges done. The last, very last step is we gotta lay them. Like lay these edges so they don't move. So I'm just grabbing a little satin bandana. This one I picked up from Zara, I believe, just like by their checkout counter. I'm gonna sit this on top of my edges. So I mean, really, you could leave this on as long as you want. If you need to drive to your event, girl, drive with this on. The longer it is, the better to ensure that your edges are laid. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then I will be back for the final look. Ta-da! You can't even call me Alyssa when I'm wearing this. You gotta call me Liz. Like, I'm a, I'm a spicy Liz, all right? Inches! It is like, whoo! A drastic change. I don't even know who I am. Even if it's just an ordinary day when you're like, you know what? I feel like having inches today. Like, that's it. Just go and have your inches. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, if you were sneaky and didn't subscribe in the beginning, you have one more chance to do it now. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I got some more bomb content coming your way. And while you're doing that, two more videos right here for you to have some fun with. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.